Blackfooted Ferret Kits here at Shine Mountain Zoo are growing really fast. Since 1991, Shine Mountain Zoo has bred 605 kits, which half of those have been preconditioned and reintroduced back out into the wild. After 42 days of gestation, once they're born, they're usually the size of your pinky finger. They're blind, helpless, they make little squeaks, they have a little bit of white fuzz. Usually around 13 to 16 days, their deciduous teeth will erupt. So it starts to happen really early. They grow pretty quick. Usually around 23 days or 26 days of age, around that time they get introduced to meat. Their eyes open at 37 days. So that's when they really start to grow and they look more like the adult version. They still have a little bit of a kitten or a puppy, puppy dog face. But once they're a little bit older than that, usually around 60, 70 days of age, they really don't look that much different than the adult form of the black-footed ferrets. Recently, we immobilized our 60-day-old kits. Our vets look and make sure that they don't have any health issues. We take x-rays, they get vaccinated for canine distemper. We look and make sure their teeth are developing. They're losing their baby teeth and their adult teeth are coming in. Make sure their sight is good so when they are released, they can hunt. Uh, also make sure that they don't have any abnormalities, kink tails, concave sternum. Any, anything like that, just to make sure that they're healthy and ready to be reintroduced back out into the wild. Around 60 days of age, that's actually when we start introducing enrichment. Um, some of those motor skills are very, very important for them to learn how to manipulate the burrow system and run around, uh, especially for hunting or avoiding predation. It looks like just toys that we put in there for them, but we try to do different shapes and sizes and uh, just to sort of get them to think about how they might maneuver to get away from a predator or uh, when they are hunting prairie dogs in the burrows. It is important for them to learn how to hunt. So we do introduce live prey. Mom will actually help teach them how to explore that at this stage here at the zoo. Once they're 90 days and they're slated for reintroduction, they go out into their preconditioning pens, or we like to call it boot camp, up at the National Black-Footed Ferret Center, where they actually do learn how to maneuver in the burrows, in the pens, and also they do get experience at hunting prairie dogs there. Black-footed ferrets once ranged from Canada to Mexico through the grass prairies all throughout the Front Range. They rely on prairie dogs for their existence, and unfortunately that's what also led them to their decline. It was an introduction of plague, so disease, and eradication of prairie dogs, which limited access to food and shelter. So when those declined all throughout that region, uh, the SSP, Species Survival Plan, which is now SAFE, so Saving Animals from Extinction, is a partner with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and five other facilities that breed and reintroduce the species back out into their historic range. 